I was going through journals and found a prayer list where my husband and I had prayed for years for um, school for our boys. Our heart was to have them, first of all, Christian education for sure, but also just a place where all three of them could be together, a place that would meet the needs of all three of our children who are very, very different. You got Jonathan, you know, engineering mind, just very different, wired, you know, he thinks that way. So to find a community that gets that and can figure out how things are put together and challenged and all of that. So it carries out from robotics to like governor's school opportunity this summer in STEM and science and engineering. It looks like capstone project next year where he'll be working um, with middle schoolers teaching STEM and helping helping out there. It looks like you know taking those what he's learning and building an RX-7 at home. That's fun just to see the well-roundedness and the carryover I guess between that. Mac, our middle child, is um, just sweet and, you know, friendships and loves the soccer, and, but he has to work really hard to get the same academic, um, to grasp the material. He doesn't get it the first time. He gets, you know, he has to have the reinforcement, and it's there, and the teacher's pulling for him. And I remember this year on the NWEA, which measures what they're expected to progress and then what they actually do, and he came up an unheard of 21 points and his teacher calling and um, with tears streaming down her face because it wasn't just his success, it was hers. She was invested in him. That means the world to a parent. And then Wesley, Wesley's never met a stranger. He has been talking about being the next president um, or when he could be a president, I think, to extend his lunch breaks and his recess time. And he may very well be a president one day. Um, it's just fun to see them be able to handle that and love that and channel that. So there's a place for all of them.